Vaccines help to keep our children healthy and allow them to thrive and go to school and learn. It's a very smart and sophisticated way to give ourselves immunity, but not putting the patient at any danger or any risk. Vaccines work by tricking the body's immune system into thinking you're getting sick with the actual disease, um, but you're not actually getting sick from it. So the vaccine takes a small portion of the, the virus or bacteria, like a surface protein, and that's what's injected into the body so that uh, the immune system thinks that the full bacteria or virus is, is present, when in reality it's just a small portion. Not enough to make you sick with the disease, but enough to trigger the immune response. And the idea is that if you get um, enough booster doses of certain vaccines, that you can get lifelong immunity to that particular disease. They've always required certain vaccines for school entry. Previously, they allowed an eight month grace period. Two years ago, they changed the requirements. So now you have to have the vaccine within the first five days of the school year. If you don't get it within the first five days, then the school is obligated to exclude that child from school. I think the downstream effect will be herd immunity. So three years ago in our community, we had a pertussis outbreak within, in our local school. Uh, we believe that initiatives like this to get children vaccinated sooner will make it less likely for these types of pertussis outbreaks to occur during the school year because more children will have their vaccine sooner. The sooner you start, the easier it is. If the child is way behind on vaccines and the family makes a good faith effort to begin the series, then the schools will not exclude the child from education. This message has been brought to you by the Pennsylvania Medical Society, building healthy Pennsylvania communities.